This is the Raspberry Pi HQ camera. Comes with two cables. You have a quarter inch bolt at the bottom. Here's the sensor. And here I show you the 16 millimeter lens that I'm gonna be using on this video. This is the official one that Raspberry Pi recommends with the HQ cam. And I'm gonna be using a Raspberry Pi 5, which allows me to use the camera on the highest resolution. Now, this is not the right connector cable, so I'm gonna to have to remove the cable that was already pre-connected out of the box and connect this other one with the more narrow connection for the actual Raspberry Pi. So here, I'm gonna put it in one of the two ports, snap it down. We're good to go. I'll be using this case, I've shown in past videos, I really like it, it leaves all the IO pins exposed. And then I'm going to go ahead and thread the 16mm lens. Once we secure it all the way, we ensure it's right where it needs to be and snug. We ensure we locked the back ring, and then we use the set screw to lock it in place. Now we can adjust here the aperture. You can see that as we move in, we close the amount of light that can go through the actual sensor, which lets us control depth of field and a few other things. And then we also have a focus ring to control the subject we're focusing on. Now we have the quarter inch hole at the bottom to be able to attach to a tripod or anything else DIY that you make. So now that we have the camera and the lens all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a quick test. So I have the camera in the zero and you can see Mickey Mouse 12 to 13 inches, the duck 17 to 16 inches and that car around 22 inches. So I'm gonna go to the terminal, use RPI cam hello timeout zero so that it runs forever and then the F to go to full screen. And right now I have the camera completely blurred out. So again, I showed you the distances and I'm gonna go ahead and go aperture of 1.4 so I have a narrow depth of field and you can see that as I change the focus, I can fully control which subject I'm focusing on. So I went from the car to the duck to Mickey, back to the duck. And if I change the aperture, you can see how I start to focus more of them even though I haven't changed the focus, that's because I'm changing how much light goes into the camera or the sensor, which enables me to control the depth of field. So now I can see Mickey and the duck. If I crank it back up to 1.4 aperture, I get a narrow depth of field. And as I change the focus, again, I'm focusing either on the car, the duck, or Mickey. So that's pretty much it. Once you set the setting, if you were just gonna take a picture, you can lock both the aperture and the focus with the screws. And there are other lenses you can buy. I mean, there's the 16 millimeter wide lens that's also official, and Articam sells all kind of other lenses that you can attach to this camera. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.